Hi, this is question number two taken from June 2015, uh, Advanced Level Maths, Probability and Statistics. Uh, the table summarizes the length in centimeters of 104 dragonflies. Uh, state in which class, uh, which class contains the upper quartile. And also we need to draw a histogram on graph paper to represent the data. Okay, for the first part of the question, how are we going to do it? We need to state in which class the upper quartile is. Now, as we've uh, learned from previous lessons, we should know that the upper quartile is basically uh, found by taking three quarter of the um, cumulative frequency or three quarter of the frequency, cumulative frequency. We have 104 dragonflies. So, what is 104 dragonflies? And three quarter of that is going to be three quarter times 104, and that's going to give us um, 104 times three quarter, 78. So, if we want to find where the upper quartile is, its location is on the 78th. All right. So, let's take a look. 78th. And uh, how are we going to do this? All right. So, we have 8, 25, 28, and so on. So if you take um, 8, all right, plus 25, you reach 33, plus 28, you reach 61, that still not uh, covers 78. If you add to 31, 31 is here, all right, you're going to come up to 92, yeah, 92 covers 78, so it stops here. So your upper quartile is between 5.5 and 7.0. So the, the class in which the upper quartile will lie, lies in the interval um, 5 naught 5 to 7 naught 0. And here you are for the first part of question number 2. Now for the second part, we need to draw a histogram. To be able to draw a histogram, we have to find the frequency densities and the class width. What is the class width? 3.5 minus 2 is 1.5. 4.5 minus 3.5 is 1. 5.5 minus 4.5 is 1. 7.0 minus 5.5 is uh, 1.5. And also 9 minus 7 is 2. For the frequency densities, uh, we know that frequency densities is equal to uh, frequency divided by the class width. What is the frequency here? 8. 8 divided by 1.5. Do it on a calculator. 8 over 1.5 is going to give you 5 decimal 3. So here we have 533. 3. All right, and the second one is 25 divided by 1 is 25. Then you have 28 over 1 is 28. You have 31 over 1.5. 31 divided by 1.5 is going to give you 20.66667, so 20 point, let's just say 7, and also you have 12 divided by 2, so 12 divided by 2 is going to give you 6. Now, these are your frequency densities, so I'm going to draw the graph and come back to, to show you how it looks like. Hi, welcome back for question number 2. Uh, we were um, saying that we were going to draw this uh, graph and we were going to come to, s to show you how it looks like. And here I have drawn the graph for you guys. So you can see. So this is, it doesn't matter because um, this from 0 to 2 doesn't matter because the graph, the information, the statistical information starts from 2. If you look at your question, it starts from 2 to 3.5. 3.5 to 4.5 and these are the frequency densities and so on. So, if you draw this, I'm sure you're very familiar drawing graphs, it's not really difficult. Okay, so 2 to 3.5, 3.5 to 4.5, 4.5 to 5.5, 5.5 to 7, 7 to 9. And these are the different frequency density values that we found um, from our calculation. Here we are for, for question number two.